American voters in southwestern Ontario could make a big difference in a key state in the upcoming election in the United States. Thousands of Michiganders live in our area. The last election won by around 10,000 votes. Now that has the group Democrats Abroad mobilizing their efforts here. Jacob Barker has more. Well, with the U.S. election hitting a fever pitch on the other side of the Detroit River in Michigan, on this side, some are equally as fired up, especially when it comes to the Democratic Party. Well, I'm definitely going to vote for uh, Biden, uh, and, and not because he's a Democrat. You know, I, I don't vote by party. I vote by conscience. As a health care provider and observing what things have been going on over the last number of years, I'm pretty solidly in the Democratic camp. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, there are about 620,000 Americans living here in Canada able to cast ballots, the most in the world. But in the last election, fewer than 6% of them actually did. So in states with tight races, that means the Canadian vote could make a big difference. Congress people and senators and even a couple of governors credit the numerical numbers delivered by Democrats abroad for their victory. Democrats abroad believe that the significant number of Michiganders here in southwestern Ontario can help make a difference in the upcoming election. And so they're investing in things like ads on buses, as well as in newspapers and on the radio. We believe that if we can rally them and, and secure their votes, that they can truly contribute to making a difference. They're even bringing in some big guns to help get out the vote. Hey, Americans in Canada, this is your moment. This is your time. You have the opportunity uh, to vote. Some voters here are waiting for their ballots to arrive. They say mailing them back quickly is key. The issues happening with the U.S. Post Office is something that if you're going to vote, vote early. Don't, don't wait till the last minute. But Donald Trump did carry Michigan in the last election by a very narrow margin. But this time around, the CBC poll tracker says that the state is leaning Democrat. I did reach out to the Republicans overseas who say they're not overly focused on voters in this region right now. But with a little more than a month left, there could be some twists ahead. And the votes from here could make all the difference. Jacob Barker, CBC News, Windsor.